hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Source Block. How is everybody doing today? Man, I'm doing so amazing. I just came back from a trip, so that's why you probably didn't see a video from Source Block for a couple of days. Uh, I actually went on a trip with my family for the Thanksgiving Day weekend here in the States. And oh man, I had so much fun. I went to Orlando. Uh, I went to on the Galaxy's Edge, little Star Wars section of Hollywood Studios. I was Han Solo. I was piloting of the Millennium Falcon, and I was the best pilot in all the parsecs. It was the greatest experience of my life, and I did great. I was totally amazing, but I also made a lightsaber. I had the coolest lightsaber in the world. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to see pictures of that lightsaber. It's very, very nice. It has Mace Windu vibes. I even picked a little purple uh, kyber crystal, so it's a purple lightsaber. It's amazing, and it's so cool, and also I went on that this Avatar ride in Animal Kingdom. One of the greatest rides. Actually, no, it's the, besides, okay, I love the Millennium Falcon ride, Smuggler's Run. The breathtaking, okay, you're breathtaking, but the the ride in Animal Kingdom, oh my god, I just gotta tell you right now, that Avatar ride is the single greatest experience of my life, I will never be the same again, I was flying a banshee in the sky, it was fantastic, it almost, you know, I didn't, I forgot about Avatar, and now I remember, uh, uh, that movie was like 20 years old, it was so good, but man, I highly recommend it if you guys haven't checked it out already, I was flying like that! It was great, it was so good, but we're back again. I got so much inspiration today though. We're gonna have some fun. Number one thing we're gonna do today, let me tell you right now, let me tell you right now. We're gonna go and do a quick little mining trip because I fixed, or not fixed, I built before I left. I didn't record, I was just randomly uh, digging out stuff. We have ourselves a mining entrance and it's right down this area. Let's get some inspiration. Let me check it out. It's very simplistic. It's not crazy, okay? It took a long time to build this thing. Well, to dig it down and then to add the stuff. But we're going to do some mining. Also, I need to build some enchanting. We have no enchanting anywhere here in our western town. So we're going to set up a little something. And I got a little bit of inspiration. I want to set up almost like a little fortune teller's hut somewhere over here. Maybe like a little little tent looking thing with, with like you could do like your fortune or something in the middle. I got an idea and I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I think I got a spot to set it up. But for right now, let's flip. Let's check out our mining entrance and let's go get some uh, diamonds right now. There we go. Last time we were here. Uh, oh, and if you guys uh, didn't check out the last episode, yeah, this is our gold rush camp. Our mining entrance is right there. This beautiful thing. Thank you guys so much for all the love, man. You guys really showed me so much love for this area. I love this place. Ow! Stupid bear bush. Give me your bears. Uh, but <laughs> I love this place so much. And I'm going to be adding a couple more things here <laughs> as we go along. But for right now, let me close this. But this is also a plan that I have. I want to go ahead. I got all my inventory cleared out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put about 64 torches. And we're going to go down here and we're going to mine some stuff. But what do you think? Right there. Oh, clean. It's clean lines all the way down. But look at the ceilings. Look at that. Look at the way down. I made it so I could really glide down here, but it's kind of scary. So I'm not really ready to glide down. But you could definitely just shoot yourself up there. And it's a lot safer shooting up than coming down. Coming down, you're going to come down here real fast. You might kill yourself. But you got to be an expert pilot like me. Han Solo Sausage is the greatest. So, boom. Once we get down here, this is all I have for now. Uh, so we have a still, uh, two little corner bits with just uh, stores to pack some stuff. Things to smell. Crafting benches. Uh, and, and I had to go for the symmetry. I know you really only need one in chest. Uh, what's it called? Uh, and the chest. But I had to put one on each side. But check this out. Look how cool. And look what I found already. <laughs> I left it here. I wanted to mine it with you guys. Um, before we uh, fix this part up so I left it here for you guys to see well, I mined down here and literally once we got down here boom it was just sitting there these little uh, bits of diamonds there's probably more behind that so we'll see right now but check this out right isn't this cool got these little curved little areas here I kept the terracotta going all the way down uh, and I got it all the way this way totally expandable we can keep going this direction we can even branch in certain spots I'm thinking we get to a certain point that was like a center room and we could kind of curve it out and make it look cool and have more branch mines out here but for right now this is the prototype of what i'm thinking about we can even change the terracottas uh, down here as well what do you guys think uh it's clean but it's nice of our little uh mining engines hope you guys get a little inspiration from this but this is what i'm gonna do right now number one we're gonna take these out wait is this my uh aerial yes boom 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 oh that's it okay good um oh i don't have to replace that i forgot i left this one but i forgot i do need to replace also these other ones um that's fine i'll leave that there for hold on there we go. I'll leave that there for now, and I'll clean that up. I only need two logs. Uh, I'll fix it. Oh, and I need one terracotta. That's perfect. But you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I got 64 torches. I'm going to go down one of these lines. We'll, we'll do a little time lapse lapse of it. Once the torches run out, I'm done. So right now in the comment section, guess 
How many diamond ores, not diamonds, because I'm not going to forge them then yet. How many diamond ores are we going to get going down one of these strips with 64 torches as our limit, okay? B write it down in the comment section. Put hashtag uh, diamonds, and whoever wins, you're going to be, I'm going to give you these five uh, ores right there. It looks like it disappeared for a second. I'm going to give you these five ores right here, but I'm going to pick a hole to go in. Oh, I'm not sure which one. You know what? This seems like like it's going to be riches. Already, we already had this as a... Uh, as a little guideline you know what i'm gonna go down this hole right here uh and i'll see you uh when we're done but first off you know what i'm not gonna need an x Guys, look what I found down here in the in the, uh, in the strip mine. This is the coolest thing. We got ourselves another villager. Oh man, I almost murdered him too. He scared me a little bit. It's gonna take a while, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get this guy all the way back over here, and I have one torch left. What are the odds? Right when I have one torch left, we got another villager, baby. What, what, what kind of what, what is he? Is that Stone Mason? Oh man, I'm gonna need you, man. You're my friend now. Let's go back. Somebody in the comment section, name him. Um, oh and. Whoever got 29 diamond ore, you you win. <laughs> Let's get this guy back over to the spot. Oh, baby, we made it all the way up here, but it's uh it's daytime. If he goes out there, he might die. I want to get him inside the prospector cabin and seal him up. And over there, we can do our little Dr. Sausage volume 2 and change him back into a normal villager. So that'll be pretty fun. So, yeah, uh, let me wait it out. Um, Hopefully, he doesn't despawn if I go. I need to get a name tag. Ooh. Maybe if I fly really, really fast, get it, and come right back. But okay, give me a second. Let me see if I can wait till it's nighttime. And uh, we'll do some Dr. Sausage action in a second. Oh, baby. Nighttime is here. You know what I, What else? I'm doing some uh, turkey shooting right now. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Uh, and a lot of people said uh, to keep these turkeys here until about uh, New Year's. And then we can fill them up with fireworks and TNT and blow them all up. So that's going to be a fun time. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Look at that. All right, in the, you got, got you in the throat, turkey. All right, but you know what? It's time, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him right in here inside a little prospector's cabin, little prospector's home, baby. Let's go. Come on in. Come on in. And I think I do believe I have a little sugar box with a kit that I can already fix him up with. So let's get him in here. I'm probably gonna get a smack or two, and that's fine. Hey. Oh, I forgot. You can't get through carpet. You are so dumb. You are so dumb. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of the carpet. Five, four, three, two, one. Come here. Come in. Come in. It's fine. Don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. Hello? Ah! That hurt. All right. Don't forget about me. Come inside. Okay. I'm going to just pass right through. Okay, bye and bye. Um, can they break those? I think they can break those. Okay. Um, how about I do this? How about I put carpet? Okay, let me go back in. I'm going to put carpet back in, the, in that spot. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, this hurts. This hurts. Not really. You're kind of weak, though, man. All right. There we go. No, you can't go through. You can go through. Okay, that's stupid. Okay, why can't you go through one way and not the other way? Okay, that's fine. How about... Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. Let's get one of these right here. Let's put that right there. Ah, you got... No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It's my fault. It's my fault. I underestimated your, your capacity to learn things. Okay, that's fine. Um, Okay, let's try this one more time. Let me take this little piece off again. Let's give him a little room to move around and maneuver. Come over here. Come, 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 come. You're smart. You're smart. There we go. And we got ourselves a nice little spot right here. Now, let me make a quick slab. Oh, the only problem I see, he might turn into a fisherman. I don't want him to be a fisherman at all. And I left my axe downstairs. He could be the blast furnace dude. All right, that's fine. That is probably a good trade. Uh, but hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me go downstairs real fast. Uh, let me see. Hold on. You want to see a fly trick? Flying trick. Flying trick. Rip! <laughs> it's dangerous! <laughs> Everything's fine. You know what? I'm just, you know, th there's some glitches here. You know, that you, I got to practice it. Oh, my God. All my stuff. All my stuff. All my riches. 
Uh, it's fine. You know, you just gotta practice. You just gotta practice. Going up, I told you, going up is a lot easier than coming down. Coming down, you gotta glide a little bit. You gotta do a little bit of twist to twist. It's a small space. It's fine. I'm gonna get better at it. Don't you worry about it. Uh, but let me put my clothes back on. Uh, oh, we do got a fortune. This lovely old 29 ore in a second. But we got some Dr. Sausage in to do. So, right here. I do believe I have... There it is. It's my box of... Uh, my doctor box. This is my doctor kit. Don't you even worry about it. I got this. Where's my um, my pickaxe? There we go. We're fine. We're doing great. What a great day today is. All right. Let me put this thing back in. Where's my box? Wait. It's, it, it blends in with all the other stuff. Ariel, come with me. I'm going to need you. She's my nurse. All right. Should we try to fly back up? All right. Let's try to fly back up. Oh, and I left my axe here somewhere, didn't I? Yes, I did. And my rocket. So how am I going to fly without rockets? You tell me. I don't know. You know what? For now, though, um, I'm going to put... Oh, there's oh, extra torches. I'm going to put the stones over here. I'll come back later and put it in our lovely old spot. Let me put everything out here. Uh, let's put all of our... Wait, hold on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think we're good. Okay. Let me put all the... Oh, sticks, baby. Let's go. Um, sweet berries. Come with me. Let's put all of these other things here. We can actually leave this stuff to smelt, right? Oh, look at this efficiency. Peak efficiency from your boy. Uh, and I already have all the stuff needed in here. Let's split this in half, maybe. Right here. A little split job right here. Um, we can't smell lapis right now yet. I don't know. Maybe 115, 16. Man, 115 is coming, guys. We are in pre-release like three by now. You guys excited? Let me know if you guys are hyped up for the bees. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to update right away to 115 here on the server. Let me know if you guys would like that. Uh, and I'll pass it on to, you know, to everybody else. If you want to see 115 right when 115 starts here on source block or if you want me to wait uh want to wait until everything is all nice and, and stable uh the only problem is we're not gonna be able to do those awesome ti time lapses is he gone if he's gone i'm gonna be so mad i need like a i need like a trap door or something get it ready hold on please be in here still please where'd he go no he despawned <laughs> Where you go? Rip. All of these plans for nothing. Did he get it? Maybe he's in the back somewhere. Maybe he left. Maybe he broke out and he's back here. Let's check real fast. Nope. He's gone. He spawned. Rip for me. Well, I didn't have a name tag ready to name tag him. He didn't pick up any items either, so we lost him. Uh, maybe we'll see another one later on. Uh, I'll just leave this here just in case he comes back. Uh, rip. You sure you're not down there? No, he's gone. Okay, bye. All right. Rip to that villager. We'll get another one. Don't you worry. But maybe we can try to see if we can scout for one before the end of the episode. But really quick, this is what I need to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and fortune all of these diamonds right now. So really quick, in the comments, um, this time don't put hashtag diamonds. Put hashtag rich, okay? And tell me how rich I'm going to be after I knock down all 29 of these lovely ores into diamonds using our fortune three thick pick. Put it down now. Let's go. All right. That looked like a lot of diamonds, okay? So here we go. The big reveal. Let's see if you win. And if you win, you get to keep this log, this log, and all and all this steak right here. That's fine. There you go. That's your winnings. Okay, and then you can have, you know, you can have another one. You can have my Winchester too. Okay, no, I need that. All right, here we go. One, two, three, big reveal. Diamonds. <gasps> A stack in two. Oh my God, that is rich. Okay, you we're rich. Who got that? Who picked that? If you picked that, you are a genius and you smart too. Uh, but <laughs> let's put it in our riches pile. Bam, look at all those. One, two, three, four, five, six stacks and four. Beep, right there that is so nice okay let's put this thing away and let me show you what i got planned so let's put this away right now i need this box yes i need this box oh no that's for later uh i need this box too all right perfect there we go i got some good stuff on me i got that i got that i got that i need more lanterns hold on i'm gonna need more lan oh no i think i have more on this box uh i think so just in case, let me get a little more. Ooh, I'm gonna need all you can't fight. Come with me. You come with me. I might need you for aesthetic purposes. So I think we're good. Uh, there we go. Let's take some more lanterns. You know what? We should get some end rods for some magical touches. That'll be like, pretty nice. Uh, I think I got glowstone. Okay, come with me. Let me show you this spot I have picked out. And we have a little bit of an outline of uh, where we're gonna take a little road up. But come with me right now. 
All right, so this is the spot I got picked out. So we're going to go right here underneath this little spot right here, underneath the cave, and then we're going to swing around. And I already have some steps set up, but I got to detail them a lot more than this. But we got a little step up, and it's going to take us to the top of this hill. It's really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to probably put like a little railing on this thing. We're going to put some spruce trap doors. It's going to look pretty cool. This is going to lead up to this side. And then, boom, right here, this is the spot. We got to dress it up a little more, give a little more life to it. I got my beds ready to go to sleep away the night. But... I think this will be the nice place to put our little fortune teller tent. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. I think I want to do it a little bit different, almost like carnival style. Uh, so I brought uh, some material. So let's see. Uh, we did bring some smooth quartz. I've been getting the quartz ready to go. I've been also getting a little... Uh, oh, well, this is our fortune teller kit right there. Uh, but then I also got some different kind of wools. I don't know which ones to use yet. Uh, but I think all of these are very fortune teller like. So we got some cyan, we got some blue, we got some purple, some black and grays uh and then uh some quartz i'm not gonna use all this quartz. <laughs> that's all the quartz i got but um i am gonna be using some slabs uh maybe some full blocks and some stairs uh maybe mixing in a little bit of white wool we'll see but uh let me line that up uh see how we're gonna do it not 100 percent sure i don't think i've ever done a fortune teller tent ever in my life so this is gonna be your first for me so let's get it started and let's see what we can make right now Baby, guess what? It is the very next day, and I've been at it. I've been at it all night, adding details. I love the tent. It came out really awesome. I actually scrapped the idea of adding uh, quartz to it because it was just too clean for this dirty, grungy western town. So I went with something a little bit more, more colorful with the purples, but added a lot of wood as uh, as detailing for it. But that's not all. I was like, you know what? If this person does their fortune telling there. They need a spot to sleep, right? So I added a little something somewhere, right? Uh, if they need to sleep there, they probably need to eat too. So I, I got added a little something there too. And if they need to eat, they also need some kind of transportation. So I added something for that. Uh, I've been at it for a while. <laughs> but let's go off. Let me show you what we got. And it's a lot of fun. This place is so cool. So, um, yeah. And, and check this out. I just noticed this way up from here, from our little AFK fishing spot, is the perfect way up. Because look at this. We even have a little cross... Uh, here, so it's like, um, I should put a little sign or something, right? Yeah, I should put a little sign here, like fortune teller this way or something like that. That'll be so cool. Oh man, but let's come up. So, this path takes you all the way up. We have our detailing already here on the way up with some trapdoors, really simple on the side, some lights as we go on in. Uh, dirtied up the path here with some path blocks and coarse dirt. I want to put a little bit more puzzle, but I ran out. I'm out of puzzle. We're done. I gotta go get some more, but a little broken little section over here. You can look over and fall. Be careful. What are you doing here? Is he the fortune teller? He's the fortune teller. <laughs> Stupid turkeys. I see you up there. Uh, but look, he definitely looks like a fortune teller. Are you a fortune teller? Oh, man. Okay, so he's a fortune teller, a.k.a. slash uh, wandering trader, and he does fortunes. And this guy is his best friend. Can I slap you? 
Can I slap? Can I slap? Okay, you're fine. Uh, but right here, this is a really cool little spot up. Add some details here with some extra ferns, uh, tall grass, bushes. Uh, we even got some of this lovely old trick. You know what? If you put a single dark oak sapling, it is awesome. It's like a little plant and it never grows, which is amazing. Uh, but there we go. Ready? Are you ready? Here it comes. Big reveal. Let's go. We got kitty cats too. <laughs> we, we got kitty cats too, baby. I brought some cats from back room. Um, but check this out. Oh, it's the sun. It's going down. Come on, sun. Don't go down yet. Uh, we got a little spot here for cooking. So a little cauldron kind of thing uh, over a little open fire. A lovely little uh, beautiful spot. We got spots to sit here. A little bit of a cup action. And then I fell and I'm flying. We're fine. Uh, but check this out. Oh, I also added uh, last minute. I, I was like, you know what? We need something to keep this down. Uh, you don't see it now because of the shader. But there's definitely a rope that goes down there. It's, it's definitely there. <laughs> so we got ropes here. And it looks so cool holding down the tent. Added a little flag on the top. And it looks so awesome. Uh, so I was like, you know what? You really can't do fortune telling over here. We could just do our enchanting. And look at those details, baby. We added some details here. We added some of these beautiful old cyan banners. Uh, I should put them in a loom and give it a little bit of a gradient. But I'll do that later. Added some end rods around here. Just to add to that little fantasy style. And then we have this all set up. Perfect for level 30. Looking really, really cool. Uh, grindstone. Uh, ender chest everything you need is in here. I don't think I don't have it's an anvil, but that's fine We'll get some more later. Uh, and also you gotta add some pottery here. We got some pot pottery. No, that's not pots pot pots F flower pots This is not pottery. What am I doing? Uh, but over here is the official spot for the fortune teller right here So you sit over here. I sit over here I tell you your fortune and uh, everything's gonna be all right. Just pay me a good amount of money, okay? Uh, also some custom trees over here We added our beautiful ones here the old school ones and then I added this new one here, which is pretty cool I want to add these to the top parts of the mountain areas here uh, just to show that it grows in higher elevations I don't know I'm just making stuff as I go along but whatever we have another kitty cat and then we have a little shack a tiny little shack here uh, so I didn't want this to be like a traveling uh, uh, fortune teller I wanted to live here so I added this small super quaint very very tiny shack very easy, super starter worthy. Uh, some barrels, some chest, a little bed, and the carpet. It's just so nice. At the beginning, I just had purple, regular old purple wool, but then I started adding some purple concrete powder and purple concrete just to break it up even more. So it looks really, really cool. And a little bit of texturing, even though it's all purple, it's different types of purple, which is cool. Uh, also, little barrels in the corners that make it look really nice. And the carpet and wool coming out from the bottom like this makes it look really nice because it also looks like these are spikes holding it down, which is really awesome. Uh, and and then look at this path organic beautiful path another kitty cat you cute earth oh, man we need okay quick hashtag cats name name these cats i need one for the black one and one for this beautiful little brown boy here uh we need names so give me names for these kitty cats these are awesome uh and this is so cool so here we got another little path that goes off to the side and we have a mini version of the crop field we have out there over here just with carrots and potatoes and it looks so cool look how simple and nice that is uh and then as you come around do a little twisty turn here we have a little wagon of course they needed a wagon to come up here eventually i don't know where they came up from that's a really steep little thing but whatever we'll figure it out uh and i got a, I got a donkey this donkey literally has been here just wandering around here and i said one day i was gonna get him and i got him a little donkey right here and it's drake it is fine he's amazing he's the best he he loves um dragons too uh and his little watering trough right there that's so great you are my best friend i love you so nice. <laughs> it's a little dog here and just a little spot with wheat just to feed them, uh, hay bales and stuff. But that's it. This is the best place in the world. The fortunes are going to be told. Uh, I don't have enough levels to do a level 30, but for the next episode, we'll come back here and do a, our first christening of the enchanted spot. And I'm going to keep adding and keep looking for more of those zombie uh, villagers. We'll convert one, I promise. And don't worry, whoever named them, even though, you know, rest in peace, pay your respects, F in the chat, uh, we'll get another one very, very soon. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll be uh, making a village here very, very soon as well so you know what i'm out of here for now thank you for watching you guys have been amazing uh get ready for next episode uh, me and flip are supposed to get together and do some christmas defying of spawn it's gonna be amazing i can't wait but be on the lookout for that i'm out thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye